today I am it's doing a one brand full face tutorial using all Rouge Bunny Rouge products. Done a foundation routine and kind of a foundation demo and review on this Rouge Bunny Rouge foundation right here, which I will link below. So I don't go too much into detail on the foundation, but I did create a full face look using every single product from Rouge Bunny Rouge. And the awesome thing is, is that my good friend here, Melissa Raymond, or Mel MPHS, is creating a full face tutorial look using Rouge Bunny Rouge products. I'll leave her link below to her channel and video. I'm sure all of you know who she is already. In case you don't, you need to check her out. She's wild, she's crazy, she shoots it to you straight. So um, check out her video Over below. Each product as I'm applying it and kind of talk to you a little bit about some of my favorites and the standouts. I'll tell you right now, I feel like the foundation is such a standout to me. The bronzer is a standout and the eyeshadow is definitely a standout. When I talk to people about Rouge Bunny Rouge products, mostly they talk about how amazing and pigmented their eyeshadows are and they have such a range of gorgeous Eyeshadows. I do show you guys swatches in the video um, of the eyeshadows. Here they are, kind of some of the products that I use. Just really beautiful colors that I feel like appeal to a lot of different people. So that's kind of what I love about it. And the eyeshadows, it's just like one swipe is so rich and accompanying blog post. I will link that below if it's already up. It has close up pictures and a little bit more detailed information. This look is a little bit smoky and I did mention some different colors. If you don't have these products and you did want to have a look that was very similar to it, I did mention some products that were similar in the video. So I hope this is helpful if you want to see how to get this full face look. If you want some more information on the Rouge Bunny Rouge products and brand, then go ahead and keep Start watching. With the Rouge Bunny Rouge foundation. This is in the color Linen Cream Divine Foundation. I absolutely love it. I'm going to be applying it with the Sedona Lace 480 brush. I love this brush. It's like a round, hot, very dense brush. Um, I love the way it applies my foundation. Since I already do have a video, a full video review and application on this foundation, I'm going to go through this part. I'm also going to do my brows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Ash Blonde. I do have a full tutorial on my eyebrows, which I will link below, as well as this foundation review I will link below. But for the record, I love this foundation. It has wonderful coverage, and I feel like it gives a flawless finish. That I do use will be in the information box so you can check there with the list of names. I'm going to start off with this Rouge Bunny Rouge Eyes Wide Open and this is like an eye brightening duo. On one side it has a peach tone color and on the other side it has a white tone color. So I'm just going to go in with the peach tone and kind of hit in the corners of my eye. Corner of my eye and up here on the top. And just kind of run that along the lash line and then blend it in with your finger. I really like this. It's really creamy and nice and I like how both sides are matte. And that's the pink one and that's the more white what color. Uh, applies smoothly and blends in really nice. One of their eyeshadows from the matte line is Sweet Dust Serima. It's a gorgeous taupey color. See, it's such a pretty taupey color. I absolutely love These it. These shades are so creamy and apply so nicely. I love the dusty gray color to it. They have a shimmer line, which I will show you. We're going to be using these eyeshadows too. These are their long-lasting eyeshadows. Also have extreme pigmentation. As you can see, we're going to be using the, these colors here in a minute, um, which I will let you know the name of the color. But just... That's just one swipe of these shadow pigmentation. So I'm just gonna start with this first dust, sweet dust ceramina color going with the Sephora crease brush. And we're just gonna lightly, I'm gonna hold the brush a little bit further back so I get a really light application. And I'm just gonna kind of dust this through my crease. We don't want it to be too precise. I just kind of want to get some color down on there. And that's why I'm holding it further back on the handle almost closer to the end so that we can get just a really diffused out color right there. 
If you do have hooded eyes, I suggest that you look straight forward into your mirror so that you can kind of see when your eyes are open what color is going to be showing when someone is looking at you. Because I do have hooded eyes, I don't have very much lid space, so I open my eyes and make sure that I'm looking straight ahead so that I can kind of arch it up higher. I do take my crease color up a little bit higher because I know that this part of my eye is what shows when I have my eyes open. This color would be Tease from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette or Quarry from MAC. Um, I'm using all Rouge Bunny Rouge products because I really want to show you how they all work together. But if you don't have that, those colors would be similar. Any matte, almost plummy, dusty, grayish, grayish, taupey, mauvey, dusty, <laughs> whatever, you guys know a color like that would work in the crease for this step. Now I'm going to take this gorgeous shade that I showed, antiqued golden bronze color. It's called Abyssinian Catbird and they have the most amazing pigmented shadows that apply so smoothly. So I highly recommend the Rouge Bunny Rouge eyeshadows. So lay this color down right here. The only thing that I can think that would be similar to this color would be in the Too Faced Romantic Eye Palette. There is a golden shade similar to this. I'm going to take so. this flat brush. This is from Crown and it is a flat shadow brush and I'm going to really get that on there and just pat it on this part right here. I'm only kind of going in the like on top of my actual eyeball and on the lid and we'll kind of and then I'm going to go a little bit further out but don't go too far far out with this because we're going to be putting another color in the inner corner. Shadow is so pigmented it almost applies as if it's like wet. Smooth and it just packs right on there. So there we go. I like to use a flat shadow because a flat brush when applying this because it's not that this is a powdery shadow because it doesn't, I don't find that this particular color has a lot of fallout. But I feel like when you use a flat shadow brush and I'm patting it on, it kind of brings out that metallic sheen I'm to it. I'm going to go back in with the same crease brush that we had the other product with no additional product and just kind of run that through the side of that and which will just blend it a little bit. So that kind of just blended it out a little bit. As I'm blending it, some of the product is picking up on the brush and blending through the crease. So there we go. Now I'm going to take this gorgeous, almost like white gold shade. It's called Golden Rhea. I'm just going to take a sponge tip applicator and apply this golden color to the inner corner of my eye, right here, and kind of blend that to so that it's a little bit brighter in the inner portion of our eye. Now I'm going to take this color right here. It's Eclipse Eagle. It's this top color right here. And this is Umber Fire Finch, but this Eclipse Eagle we're going to take first. And we're going to run that along the bottom lash line. And we're also going to take this Umber Fire Finch and put it on dark in the eye. Take this Eclipse Eagle on an angle. This is a Sephora angled shadow brush. I'm going to put that right here on the outer portion and kind of just blend it in a little bit. Definitely has a sheen. That these shadows apply so smoothly, and I don't find them ha them having a lot of fallout or very powdery. I think they're very rich we're and going buttery. to take that color that we just applied on the outer portion, and we're going to run it under the lash line. The Sephora Pro Precision Pointed Brush, and any brush you have, I'm just kind of running that one under the lash. The same brush. I'm going to take some of that first golden shade that we put down, the Abyssinian Catbird, and I'm going to run that along this part of the lash line. This middle shade right here with the same brush that we were using and I'm just going to use it to darken up the outer corner. Make sure you continue to open your eyes if you do have hooded eyes so that you can kind of see and gauge. So I kind of just put it down right here just to darken that up and I bring it up and then run it a little bit this way. 
because I know when my eyes open that's the darkest part I want to make look the darkest so for me that's where it is it's gonna be different on everybody but that is the outermost corner on my eye so I kind of do that and then I see it's where it's placed and I kind of just go back over it and then we will go over it with a blending brush I'm gonna take that first blending brush with no additional product we haven't put anything on it since so time to diffuse the for the transition color so I'm just gonna kind of go back through and just blend this all out with the original flat brush, I'm just going to go in with that first color, the Abyssinian Catbird, and I'm going to kind of just apply that back to the top of the lid just to bring back that shine that we originally lost when we blended out the shadows. I'm going to take this color right here. It is a matte, creamyish pink color. It's called Bashful Flamingo, and it is from their Long Lasting Matte line. I'm just, since we do have some shimmer down here, I want to keep this under the brow matte. Since we did put down that highlighting duo, that eye brightening duo, uh, it gave us a great base for this color, but you can use any matte shade that you have. Last step for the eyes before we do eyeliner and mascara so is the Loose Pigment Eyeshadows from Rouge Bunny Rouge. This is in the color Sleeping Under a Mandarin Tree. It is like a gorgeous, shimmery mandarin, like has a little bit of a mandarin shade to it. Now these, you pull it out and it has a pointed tip like this. And I'll just show you how it applies. Like that. Oh, it's so beautiful and it really catches the light. My loose shadow is difficult to work with. I personally find this one very easy to work with just because it doesn't have a ton of fallout because it kind of has a, I don't know if you can see in there, a hole and it pulls it and it kind of sifts the extra loose stuff down so you really just get what you need. So I think it's perfect especially for highlighting the inner corner. So we're just going to kind of highlight the inner corner like that and that out. I'm going to go in with the Rouge Bunny Rouge Eye Coal. This is in the color Delilah. It's a really pretty it's a really pretty bronzy shade. I'm going to rim my lower lash line. I don't find these overly creamy. Um, I wouldn't say they're an absolute must have from the line, but it's a very good liner. I wouldn't say it's bad, it's just not an absolute must have. It is a gorgeous color and it applies very well. So I do like it, but I, w I wouldn't call it a must have. I would call the eyeshadows a for sure must have. I do think is their must have is their Raven Glaze Blacker Eyeliner. This is a liquid black eyeliner with a really nice with a really nice detail pointed tip. Very makes it very easy to to do a winged liner. You guys know I love my Stila Stay All Day very well. I would compare it to my Stila Stay All Day. It's very nice. The tip is actually more precise than my Stila one. So I'm just going to do a very simple winged liner. See how easy since it's so angled and so precise? And then you can kind of just lay it flat to your eye. And you can get that innermost part because it is so thin. And it's very, very black. And I, I just turn it down to get right, right at the base of the lash line, which I feel like it's really good at. This is the Magnitude Mascara. It's in black. Titanian and I really like this mascara the Wassel wand and it gets really into those lashes it gives good volume there are the eyes and I'm going to go in for some under eye highlighting this is the Rouge Bunny Rouge fine spun skin wand so it is one of those pressed down concealer pens I love it. I think it is a wonderful concealer pen, so I'm just going to do this for the under eye concealing. I'm going to start right here in the innermost corner of my eye. This one is in the, this one is in the color Orionis, and like I said, I will list that below because I know that um, these are some different names, so kind of difficult to remember. And with the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush, and I'm just going to kind of blend that down. It's very, um, it has like a thin consistency, but a great coverage and really, really nicely. 
you guys know I talked about this bronzer in my Friday favorites I am obsessed with it it is the at another way cove their bronzing glow powder first of all this packaging is so beautiful this right here it is a matte bronzer um, I'm using a Real Techniques multitask brush. I really like the way this applies. I feel like this is like a great all over. It just completely warms up the face. It's almost like a bronzer, bronzing blush for me. Um, I really, really like it. Since I have a more round heart shaped face, I take my bronzer on the corner, my temples, and then down right here and then under my chin to kind of contour. I'm doing like a light bronzing contour. But I find that this bronzer blends beautifully and it just seems like such a perfect color, especially for me. So I highly, highly, highly recommend this bronzer. It's one of my most favorite things. It's a go-to bronzer. The blush I'm going to be using is in 34, and this is Grass Seals. It is the original skin blush. This is a gorgeous, almost like pink, pinky, really light pink color, beautiful color and it blends out so nicely there it is right there Great consistency very smooth and apply very nicely so I'm using the Sephora angle blush brush and I'm just gonna kind of take it right here and go up with it and kind of pat it on something I like about Rouge Runny Rouge products you can get a dramatic look but the colors are so flattering the way I would describe Rouge Runny Rouge products are just classic beauty is what I think when I'm used like what I think about them this is called sweet to touch highlighting powder and it doesn't particularly have it does not particularly have a whole lot of sheen to it I wouldn't call this I would call this more of like kind of like the Marilyn Monroe powder from MAC. It's just going to be a very light, natural highlight. I'm using a Real Techniques contour brush to apply it. It'd be a great one for someone who has more mature skin and they don't really like how shimmer attracts to fine lines. This would be a great highlighting powder because it is enough to highlight, but then again, it doesn't settle into your fine lines or kind of draw attention to fine lines. So but it's really really beautiful. Next up, we're going to do lips and this is the long lasting lip pencil and this is in the color Let's Go pink color and these are very very long lasting and very smooth and creamy. These go on really really smoothly. I'm going to go in with the lipstick. This is the Nothing Unknown, and it's just a really beautiful, natural, mauve nude color. These are our Color Burst lipsticks. Feels really, really nice on. I love that color. It's such a nude, natural color, especially since I went a little bit darker with the eyes. And to top it off, I'm going to go in with the Lip Plumping Gloss, which I love, love these. This is in... Acadia Royal Jelly. It's just a really light pink. Um, it does have a brush on it. I'm just going to kind of put that in the center of my lips. So this is the finished look. I love it. I feel like it's so fresh. I love the complexion that the foundation gives. I love the way the colors go together. Like I said, I feel like it's just such classically beautiful makeup. I had the opportunity to do this video just to kind of feature one brand and show how all the products work together to create a look. Don't forget to check out Melissa's video for another look at Runny Rouge products. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any requests, leave them below. I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.